Hello and welcome to week 36 of the Foot Weekly Podcast. We've got a bit of a gameplay special here. We're going to be talking about playstyles in depth, running through our dream playstyle combinations uh, for the various different I guess, systems we're playing and positions. So we'll introduce our guests, a nice cozy cast because we've got a lot to talk about. First of all, we have Foot Legend Air Japes. Hello and welcome. Thank you much, Ben. Happy to be back, fresh off of... Uh... Another 20 and 0 last week with La Liga. I'm hoping to replicate it for, well, be able to finish it off here for Liga F. Get those sweet, sweet mm. red picks in, you know? That's what we all want. Yeah, I feel like that's one of the interesting things about a discussion on playstyles. People are generally, I feel, forced to use certain playstyles because they're using untradeable players, right? You don't get to choose which playstyles you put on players, apart from to an extent with evolutions, I guess. And talking of evolutions, we'll introduce our final guest on this podcast, who is unsurprisingly Josh Excels. Hello. Yes, thank you. Riding the high of packing a blue Dembele out of an 82 plus player pick. The the uh, 682 plus player picks I've done, the 1480 plus player picks I did last week. It's finally paid off. I've got a big player. Yeah, didn't get him in red, but you know, did get him in blue. So that's good. And yeah, you might have noticed we're recording this a bit ahead of time. Uh, but yeah, let's get into it. And let's just start rattling through. I think we're going to start from the back and now we would start I guess with goalkeepers there's a bit of a misconception that goalkeepers don't have play styles at all they do have play styles but they're not really proper play styles they're not quite as impactful and they are unable to get play style pluses I'd imagine they probably add maybe goalkeeper play styles in the future at some point but in terms of the ones they do have it does feel a little bit irrelevant at this point because they're releasing goalkeepers pretty much all the play styles consistently and personally feel that having an icon keeper is so important for chemistry I'm not too uh, keen to swap my check out I don't know if anyone has any other views on that has anyone used another goalkeeper other than one of the icons and thought actually this is well worth it I guess it can happen I right? just want a long ball pass plus goalkeeper mm. That's all. so just so <laughs> that, that I can do cool. those yeah. pinged R1 squares over the top from the back or Tiki Taka and Pinked pass would also be pretty good, right? I think. <laughs> Ping uh, would be fun. Yeah, I feel like they probably would have done it if it was technically possible because I don't think it would be crazy overpowered. Uh, just for those who don't know, the goalkeeper playstyles that are just the regular versions that you can get on goalkeepers are far throw, footwork, cross claimer, uh, rush out, and that I believe is it. And the far throw is just long throw, basically. Footwork is just they save with their feet uh, more effectively, more often. Cross claimer means they claim the ball and rush out, means they're going to come out and push out the goal to close down the player more actively. So yeah, they're all kind of useful in their own way. Um, but let's move swiftly on to defenders, which is the interesting part. And we'll start off, I guess, in probably one of the more straightforward positions, although maybe not for me, because I think I'm going to talk about the 3 4 2 1 as we go through this, uh, which has been pretty popular, quite an aggressive formation that I talked about previously on the pod. And there are sort of two different types of centre back you want in that formation. So I'll speak about that in a second. Let's go, I guess, first to Josh. What are you looking for, playstyles wise? Uh, what are your priorities at centre back? So, like, for, for each of my positions, I used a player that I've used that I thought was really good and then kind of built out from there. So, obviously, I started with Van Dyke. Who? Um, Ariel mm. Plus, I think, is... <laughs> <laughs> Ariel Plus, I think, is is a go-to for me on, on centre-backs. It's not a complete, like, no-no to not have it. Somebody like Bissek, for example, doesn't have Ariel Plus, as far as I'm aware, but is so big that it doesn't make any difference um but you know for anybody under six foot two i do think it's important to have it uh, anticipate plus and block plus are my two for center backs i tend to feel like they're the two most regular things i do with center backs which is try and put a tackle in or try and block a shot um and then in terms of like the base play styles defensively i've got jockey, bruiser, intercept, and slide tackle, because you've just got to cover your bases. Mm -hmm. I've gone for relentless on every single player as a base play style. I think it's a waste as a play style plus, but as a base play style, I think it's what makes certain players that people seem to think are broken, I think it's what makes them broken because they are still a joke 75 minutes into a match. Uh, and then as my kind of outside defensive play styles, I've got long ball, and press proven press proven is a weird one I, i've got it mainly because 
that moment when you win the ball back, but it's still kind of in that half space between a bunch of attackers and, you know, the, the the kind of bounce backs that very often happen. I find press proven, especially mixed with bruiser, can really help protect the ball a little more in those situations so that you win it a bit more cleanly. Yeah, that does make sense. Right, let's go over to Japes. Uh, I guess you're talking about a back four probably as well, talking about your four five one, which you did speak about at length on last week's gameplay episode what would you be preferring as your centre-back play styles? Um, I, so if it's an out-and-out -out defender, I really like Trash Panda. So we'll take Anticipate Plus um, on them. To go along with, I also really, really like Jockey Plus because I feel like I do tons of manual defending. And then I would love to have Intercept Plus as well as my like three. Uh, because I find players with intercept just have, generally speaking, like better positioning. Um, and that's kind of what I'm looking for in those spots. Yeah, are we all in agreement then? Because I'm basically in agreement as well that the three crucial pluses for pure defensive ability are anticipate jockey and intercept plus. I would say yes, I'm in agreement with that. I also really like having block though. I also very much enjoy having the passing play styles out of the back. I find pinged is like especially particularly useful. Mm. Long ball is nice too, but I feel like for the passes that I choose to play, base long ball is like very fine because I'm not playing like trying to play like insane long ball passes forward. Mm. They're more into like safe areas. I'm going to just make the case that I think for center backs, I think block is more important than intercept for the way that I would defend. I will more try and bait a shot and then get a block in rather than necessarily like intercept a pass that's going. I don't feel very often people are trying to break my center backs with a pass. It's more something into feet. Whereas I feel like the wing backs and the defensive midfield in front, that's where I find intercept more noticeable. I still have it as a base, but just not as a plus. Yeah, that's interesting. Okay, I'll give a little bit of a different take on this because obviously we're talking here about a 3 4 2 1 for me, and that means slightly different centre back roles, right? So I've gone for on my perfect outside centre back, Jockey Plus, because obviously, you know, shifted around really important that position, Intercept Plus, because I think cutting out balls into the wide areas is really important, and Quick Step Plus, because when you're going into those wide areas, you're generally following a really fast winger who will often at this point have quick step plus. So that is my preference. So that's what I tend to go for. But then at center, center back, I'm going to go intercept plus, anticipate plus, and block plus. Because for the reason Josh was mentioning, I think especially in that center, center back position, you're often going to be getting in the way of shots. And also you really need that player to be able to win the ball cleanly, consistently, and have good kind of reach, um, be able to stop a player uh, without conceding a foul. So hence the anticipate plus. Obviously, they do have, in terms of regular play styles, ideally all the other defensive play styles. But I'm not so bothered about slide tackle and would probably instead like to have the likes of, you know, quick step potentially on the center center back he doesn't have quick step plus uh, definitely aerial you probably want on all of them uh, i'm assuming the center back is already got good jumping good height so i'm not too bothered about having the aerial plus useful i think on corners to have one player maybe with aerial plus but it's not something that i find really really important i actually noticed um using elia meek who'd gone through the uh, tots defender plus evolution that Tiki tacker on a centre back feels quite nice actually, and I think if you're playing a centre centre back, then having Tiki tacker on them to sort of why are you describing Lucas Hernandez? Well, I was actually <laughs> going to say that you were saying you've enjoyed Lucas Hernandez, so makes sense. I got him in the pack, and he's been. I mean, he has every defensive play style. I will say he's changing my mind a little bit on slide tackle plus, like. Not necessarily mm. because I think it's like necessary, but because I think it's fun. <laughs> like you know what I mean? Like it's one of those where it's like, yeah. does he need to have that play style? Like, is it going to be a game changer? Well, if I'm slide tackling, that means things probably aren't going the way I'd like them to go anyway. But it is fun. Okay, like, it really is pretty fun to have that as an option. Yeah, I think I was a little torn on slide tackle actually because I don't think it is useful. But I don't know. There are just a lot of other 
important ones. But I, I just am like with defensive play styles, I want the ones and block plus fall, falls into this category. I think for the most part, like it's really really nice to have ones that impact the AI seemingly uh, because mm. those are things that you can't control. Now jockey's different because in order to keep up with the quick attackers, I feel like I have to have jockey, but. Intercept plus, anticipate plus, block plus, all things that impact the AI. And I would say with like anticipate, the way I would say think that anticipates the AI, you just don't know what how the game would like randomize the deflection otherwise. So when you have it on, you're just giving yourselves a better chance. And intercept plus is like, there's part of me that believes that I would take intercept plus on every player that wasn't a striker and be like pretty, pretty stoked about it. Because it just means that your defense is going to set up in far better positions. Yeah, it's interesting. None of us have really mentioned Bruiser Plus, although I think we can all agree Bruiser is helpful. Are we in agreement that actually, although you do see it on quite a lot of players, it's probably not the most impactful uh, defensive play style compared to some of the others? Or maybe it's actually quite good if the player is like physically weaker, say they're a women's player or something. I think that Ta card had some version of Bruiser. Yeah, he's got Bruiser Plus. And using the seal out with him is like the first time that I've been like, oh, this is pretty fun. He just like bodies everyone. And having Bruiser on a smaller player like didn't always feel that way. Yeah. Any thoughts on that, Josh? That yeah, I like I, I think I think there was a point earlier in the cycle where Bruiser was really effective. And I I still think it can be, especially if you're a really aggy defender. If you're somebody that likes hmm. to kind of try and win the ball. When the when you're stood behind somebody, which it seems like all of my opponents try and do, it's definitely one where it feels like you can knock the player without giving away a foul. I I, I don't necessarily know that it affects the visual thing that happens. It's more that it seems like you just get away with more. <laughs> like you can mm. just push somebody over and get the ball, and that's apparently fine. But I don't think it's. I think there are more effective playstyle pluses. I think is the is the difference between that and 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 why I don't think it's been mentioned in a playstyle plus. I would still have it as a base playstyle, but not as a plus. Yeah, actually, just to quickly wrap up centre backs, I thought your point about relentless was definitely a good one, especially if the player has lower stamina. I think it is really important. And then uh, I would also do like, especially on those wide centre backs pinged pass and long ball passes, regular play styles, just to you know, get the play moving. Um, I mentioned about that Oyemi having Tiki Taka. He also has a pinged pass plus, which I think is just really good for progressing the ball up the pitch. And especially if you want to play it out to those uh, wide players in the formation, it helps quite a bit. Um, right, let's move on to fullbacks then. Uh, Japes, then let's come to you. I know it's something that is kind of interesting this year with fullbacks because there is a tendency from EA to just slap a whipped plus, and that's about it in terms of attacking play styles. What would you like to see on a fullback? I would say this has changed because I, I like was all about the whipped passes earlier, but the way I find that my team plays of late, I, um, I don't use it quite as much. Uh, I would rather have long ball at mm. this point, I think, than intercept. And that's because I'm playing, I find myself playing more passes from my outside. Like I get in these not like desperate situations, but sometimes I'm playing somebody that's just like really pretty good. And I have to go direct to a striker. And having the long ball pass means I can like dink it up to them with a far greater degree of certainty than if they didn't have it. So I very much like long ball plus on my fullbacks. I like having jockey plus on them as well. And then as long as they, I, I do like relentless plus on fullbacks. I think that's the only spot because sometimes it's nice to have that extra second man press if you need it out wide. But I, I feel like less so that's the case if I have jockey on them. So I, I, I do think having then again, like intercept plus on them is pretty, pretty meaningful or can be pretty meaningful. Um, I suppose if I was going to go with, I don't, I don't really care about, actually, you could give me quick step plus out wide. I would be into that. Mm. But long ball, long ball and jockey are kind of the ones that I find I'm spending more time looking for at the moment. That makes sense. What about you, Josh, in terms of fullbacks? So I think, I think the 
for me, the passing choice, there's, there's, I only have one defensive thing, which is intercept on my fullback. As in, as a plus, I've, I've then got anticipate, block, and I also have bruiser out wide, but I'm not wedded to it. But I, I have to have ping pass because of the way I play on my fullbacks. Like the reason I like Rolfo so much is because of her ping pass. And I notice when I don't even have it as a base play style, I really notice it in my wing back position. But for me, the choice that I have in terms of the third spot is between whipped and long ball. And I think that depends on how much you how firstly how much you cross, but secondly, like how much you utilize your fullbacks. If you've got your fullbacks on stay back, long ball is absolutely the play. For those like side to side switches, it just makes them quicker and more accurate. But for sure, getting it up to that striker is so important. I don't even agree with that on like the stay back. Like I feel like long ball, even if they're overlapping, rather than playing like the big cross to the far post, they can play that like dinked pass to the near post that allows you then if you want to like cut it back one more time. Like I just find there's so many situations now where I'm having to, because of how good like the defensive AI is, I'm having to just like loft the ball a little bit with my fullback, not for like the big long pass, but it's even though it's long, was it long ball plus? is like the one, mm. it's just, it's all lofted or lobbed passes. All of them. And so... Well, there's also the fact that obviously to get out of pressure, it's yeah. nice, isn't it? To play it to the but other I, side. I, like, again, I'm not even like worried. About, like, that's not even the the use case for me when I end up thinking about it. For me, it's more like, uh, I... Mm. Like, when I play long balls, I usually play it with my CM to like an overlapping fullback or attacking mid or whatever that's decided to make a run out wide because a fullback's out of position. With my fullbacks, the long like these are long balls either direct forward to a striker, dinking it up the line to because they have a player that's cut out the easy like ground pass, or like dinking it when my fullback's overlapping just inside to the striker or whoever it is that's gone made the near post run and not the far post run. So I think don't get me wrong, it is so nice when you're doing the like cross field switches if you have like the stay back. Definitely get that. But I think there are like way more attacking use cases for it than people seem to like utilize. I think just to just to like pick up on the point of when you're say you're doing the long balls into like wingers, I tend to be doing that from one of the other wing backs. So I think that's why long ball pass for me if I've got a stay back wing back is more important because I like playing the like 75 yard ball over the opposite fullback to a winger that's on a run or to the other fullback that I've sent on a run. But that's probably just because that's a bit more of a disgusting way to play <laughs> uh, than anything else. Well, funny you should say that actually, because I will now go through my wing back. So, you know, like a left mid in the three, four, two, one. And for the pluses, I have gone for incisive pass plus, ping to pass plus, and quick step plus. Because essentially in this tactic, they are crucial creators and really important for feeding your front three and passing it back inside to the midfield to circulate the ball. So the passing play styles are really important, but you also do need the player to be really quick at getting up and down to help him both attacking and defending scenarios. So... Uh, that's why you've got the quick step plus. But I've also gone long ball regular, ticky tacker regular. Just, yeah, again, the passing is super important. Um, whips just because, you know, it's nice to have that option as a regular and intercept and anticipate to help defensively. I think they're the most useful sort of outside of the central defensive area, I guess. And then I've also gone technical and rapid, basically technical yeah, to rapid's nice. Provide it. Yeah, regular rapid is really nice in the wide areas because it is really good for just getting a bit of extra speed as you bomb down the line. So I think that's a nice selection of play styles, but it, it doesn't exist in game, right? There's no combination like that in terms of the playstyle pluses, uh, having incisive plus, pinged plus, and quick step plus. But, you know, maybe at some point when they stop giving like long throw plus to various players, I guess. <laughs> uh, let's take a break then and we'll come back to talk about the play styles we would like on midfielders. Hello, listeners. A quick reminder that this podcast is made possible through the generosity 
of supporters out there and actually they aren't just doing it out of the kindness of their heart because you get a whole extra podcast every single week as a supporter and you can sign up for a seven day free trial right now over on patreon and after that it's just three pounds a month to continue supporting it makes a huge difference the podcast for a time wasn't able to be weekly because i had other work commitments but this has made it possible to deliver a podcast every single week and in fact an extra one too just for supporters as I mentioned. So if that interests you and you want that extra content, and actually if you would like even more, there's the support to Discord at the gold tier, there is the Hall of Fame at the end of the podcast in the icon tier, there are loads of perks available. Uh, so why not check it out if you haven't done so already by searching support for weekly or following the link in the description of this podcast. If you consider doing so, that would be hugely appreciated. And a big thank you to all those supporters, as I said, keeping the podcast going and keeping Foot Weekly weekly. Right, let's get back into the pod. Hello, welcome back after the break. Let's get into midfielders then. Uh, For me, the midfielder players that we'd be looking at are a more holding midfielder and then a more attacking midfielder in the center of the pitch. And then we're moving into the attackers really in the 3-4-2-1. So let's start with the, I guess, 4-5-1 tactic that you're using, Japes, where you have a proper defensive midfield player, right? And then one who's more of a kind of roaming box-to-box type role. What are you looking for in that defensive player in terms of play styles? Yeah, I want intercept plus if I can get it. Um, yeah. it's like well let me let me phrase that I think the tricky part here is more important than intercept plus or any of the play styles I feel like for this role for me is having medium high work rates mm. I just can't have them getting too far into the attack so medium high is definitely my preference intercept plus would then be at the top of the list and then increasingly I want like pinged and maybe long ball in this spot I also really really like having Press proven, first touch, tiki taka, and like relentless as other ones, just because I find that I off like without press proven, and like I'm using Palacios right now. And the one thing that I would do, like what I wouldn't give to give that man press proven, um, <laughs> he mm-hmm. you just get sometimes you just play your players into tricky situations where you like I want them to be able to wiggle their way out of it a little bit cleaner and having press proven there would make makes like a really kind of a big difference for me but then you know the passing play styles are nice but really like i just want them to intercept it and if they have base trash panda i think that's also like great jockey i find maybe less important in this role because i'm you're not doing you're not in as many situations where you're like one-on-one manually defending if anything you're just like chasing a player down so actually if you want to talk about like base bruiser i'd probably take base bruiser over base jockey as my like cm holding midfielder because i want once that player like Mm -hmm. latches on i want them to be able to knock the player off the ball yeah, I agree. You kind of it's a bit of a ball or man position, isn't it? Because you're not gonna get not gonna get a red if you take him out. But yeah, Josh, how are you feeling about this? I know you've been using the four five one, so it will be similar for you. So I've been using Rodri, and uh, like we're, we're uh, very very similar in terms of the things that we've chosen. That press proven first touch to Kitaka relentless as base play styles is is definitely four that I would go to. I, I think the, the thing is, when you mix in ping pass, tiki taka, first touch, and press proven, the ability to play a ball into a tight spot, either take a touch or play a first time pass out of it that's accurate, quick, is tough to intercept, is so important, especially in this in this formation with a 4-5-1. But the ping passer is, is the biggest thing. I actually went for bruiser plus mm. in this spot. Because I feel like a lot of the time with that midfielder, you're usually arriving at a player as they're receiving a ball on a counter attack. That's that's the most t- like that's the most often that I'll necessarily win a ball back quickly. And if they have bruiser, they can just go through 
and kind of push the player out of the way or at least knock them off balance to the point that they can't just turn and go and suddenly you're defending a quick counter. So I had Bruiser plus in this position, inset plus, ping pass plus, and then base, long ball, press proven, relentless tiki taka, anticipate first touch. I also have block there. I do a lot of blocking. I'm I'm very annoying. Like <laughs> I will I will drop off you. Dirty not yeah. Well, it's it's more just the, the worst part of my game is being over aggressive defensively. And so I've I've been working really hard on stopping doing that and part of that is waiting for a moment to tackle and if that moment doesn't come that's boring try and <laughs> my, my, my second round press is still held full um, down the entire time but you know yeah that makes sense funnily enough there's clear consensus on this obviously in the three four two one, the right center mid is often my more defensive player it doesn't really matter obviously which side they're not as defensive I guess as they would be in the four five one but I've gone for very similar things here. I agree, inset plus and pinged pass plus is vital, I think, really big ones. And jockey plus as well is really important. I would say long pass, the regular, uh, as we've talked about, is really important. Tiki Taka 2, anticipate, bruiser, first touch again, press proven. I would say incisive is quite good for this formation because there are a few more opportunities to play someone in. I would also actually go... Uh, I was going to say flair. Funny enough, I have considered that for a few different positions here. <laughs> but it is quick step once again. I just feel it's so useful everywhere. And players that go up and down, I think it's especially useful. I think being able to use the jockey plus, which is the plus play style I went for, though I was very close uh, to going for press proven plus, it works nicely together because you can go fast, but you can also slow yourself down effectively and quickly to um, yeah block the player off and I guess I would often like the idea of Bruiser Plus just to go in and, and win the ball but I also I think jockeying alongside intercept is, is quite a nice combination for slowing down play and picking up potentially more cleanly although not always um, so yeah I think there's general agreement there and we can move into the more box to box role so let's come to you japes again actually for what you're looking for in that uh, more advanced midfield role yeah so this is my probably like right mid role where they're still in the middle of the park but i'm asking them to to get forward this is where i like passing i like i like anything that can progress play in this so pinged plus is like a must it's table stakes here i long ball plus i also quite like Though I would be pretty fine with like a tiki taka here as well. I think. I think increasingly I find that I play maybe less long balls with this role, and I would maybe rather have something a little bit different. Obviously, let's talk about intercept, and then the the curveball for this role for me that I have decided that I really really like to have here is technical dribbling. I find that I this player because they're willing to get a little bit more forward and end up in like just slightly different spots when I need to wiggle out of when I'm, when they're playing next to that CM, that's like my true holding player. If I can play to this player and either pass out if I need to, or wiggle my way out with technical plus to break the lines. And then I can pick any pass on the field, having pings plus and long ball plus. This is why I like that Barbara Dunst card so much, so much. Because she has pinged plus, long ball plus, technical plus to go with base intercept, um, base slide tackle. And then having some base like finishing play styles, I think is like nice in this role, just so that when you're in a situation where if you want to hit a Travella for, or a finesse, you don't feel like bad about it. But then obviously I take press proven always. I love press proven. I think that's, mm. that's no surprise here, but that's kind of, that's kind of where I'd go. I just don't feel like I ever get the most out of incisive. I don't feel like I play a t like an insane amount of through balls to the point where incisive plus makes sense. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's funny enough. I also, I think it's the Majory effect really. Go for technical plus on this position as well. Uh, I also went for tiki taka plus and power shot plus because I find the position gets a lot. In of your, in, this is in your formation. Yes, yeah, this is in my formation. So they'll often come, especially if they're left-footed, it works quite well. If they're left centre mid or right-footed at right centre mid, they'll sort of be that extra runner into the box 
coming at the end and you know maybe finds a bit of space to take that power shot pretty much first time. I've used players with base power shot and have even found that useful to some extent in the position. But obviously the plus power shot is just way, way better. Um, but in terms of uh, the other play styles, I did go incisive pass. I think it is really useful for playing some through balls here and there. And I find through balls without it just considerably worse. I went for pings pass, not bothered with long pass here because they don't make too many long passes. Uh, and then intercept. Uh, anticipate for defensive utility. First touch is always really good uh, in pretty much every position, I think, actually, apart from defense. And even then, it's probably useful. And of course, press proven as well. And then probably relentless, I guess, is the other one you might want to go for there. Um, so that, that wraps it up. I think that it is a bit of a choose your own medicine type situation. I, I don't think there's necessarily uh, going to be one combination that is very much the thing to use and I guess that's the same across the pitch but particularly in this position people are going to do slightly different things with this player and the way they use them is often kind of different I think uh, so over to you Josh what would you be going for any differences uh, I think the only real addition is I like quick step in a more attacking midfield role because especially like I, I can I can forgo it if they've got technical plus because mm. I feel like that gives me the same ability yeah. to kind of move quickly around a defender. But if they don't have that, then just base quick step just so that that touch out to try and kind of create the bit of space to then utilize passing is is important. Um, but yeah, my, my three play style pluses were ping plus, press proven and tiki taka plus. It's fairly similar, but I, I mean, using this 4-5-1 has been revelatory for me i've been able to actually like play the passing moves i <laughs> i want to in my brain um, about time and, josh yeah i know i don't know why it took me so long to use it um so yeah i think those those three press proven is uh, I, again i used Madri as my base to build from and i just i think it's such a good play style that isn't utilized enough i mean i got, even go back to sour uh the team of the year yeah. cards like she had press proven and you just felt the difference just normal left stick dribbling relentless has to be there I've got base technical and I've also got anticipate in there just because I very often find like I'm pressing, especially in this four, five, one, I'm pressing quite high with my cams or right mids, depending on like, or, or wide mids, depending on who I'm using, just having that anticipate when, you know, when you know, somebody's going to turn and you just kind of want to put a leg in the direction, you know, they're going to turn. And it's a bit kind of, you kind of reach in for it. I think anticipate really helps with that extra reach to just get that leg in and disrupt the defender. Yeah, 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 I agree. I, I think I was tempted almost not to have it as a base and go for jockey instead, but it tends to be sort of a smaller player who's got quite good jockeying anyway that I've used there. I mean, Madri obviously has such high defensive awareness, balance and agility, then it doesn't really matter that she doesn't have jockey, but it might be useful if you're using a bigger player, I think. Um, and this is the point with a lot of this, right? It, there are certain play styles that are going to be supplementing a player's ability at an area, but also they can be useful for sort of compensating for uh, specifics that a player lacks. And we're kind of just assuming that the player in the position is pretty much perfect in terms of their stats for the position. And you're putting the play styles on top of that here. Right, let's move on to talking about the, I guess, what appear to be the left mid and right mid in your 4-5-1 japes because it's a little bit different, right? Uh, the way that they actually line up versus what they are listed as. So that's worth bearing in mind. Yeah, well, the right mid, I feel like I sort of just talked about because that's my, I think of them as my like progressive center mid free roaming. I guess it's kind of like a free eight. Mm. Is like the, was like, I suppose my like sort of vision for that as I was like trying to develop it, even though, you know, it's like, not technically a center mid, it's like technically a right mid, but whatever. Um, we don't play by the rules here, so it is what it is. My left <laughs> mid, however, they do like a different, it's just a different job. This is someone that I want to be able to finish their dinner. I need them to be able to make passes. So this is where I start to get into more attacking play styles. Right now, I'm using an Evoed version of Brian Zaragoza from Bayern. Mm. So he has pinged plus um, in that spot. And then he's got technical plus and first touch plus. And I thought initially I was going to be using him as a my like attacking mid, but he just seems to pop up in amazing spots in that role. So I just sort of let that go. I think I like having first touch in that role because this player is often used quite a bit in transition. I, I will say I do like Finesse Plus, I think, in this role. Um, mm -hmm. They just seem to pop up 
in a lot of positions at the top of the box where you can get those shots off. And so I absolutely love, not just for this role, but for my right attacking mid as well, um, Clara Boule, the SBC card from Bayern. She's got Finesse Plus, First Touch Plus, and then Fair Flare Plus. But her base, she's got Press Proven and Quick Step as well, both of which I find to be like quite useful. But you do, you do need the player to be able to make a pass um, in this role because you have like similar-ish instructions. Actually, I think they're the exact same instructions as the right mid. They, they just move kind of like differently. So you want them to be able to support the attack, but you also definitely want them to be able to finish. Yeah, actually on that, we can take a break here because I have three attackers to talk about. And I guess for Jape's tactic, you've got the kind of second striker and the striker themselves. So yeah, we'll be back to talk about those just after this break. Hello and welcome back after the break. Right, let's get into these forward players. Japes, uh, this second striker role, which I guess is really the left attacking mid, but plays behind the striker in your tactic. What are you looking for from them? Uh, I would like them to probably have Tiki Taka Plus is really, really fun for that role. Press Proven is great, but my favorite card in terms of being able to cause mayhem was like George Best. So first touch and technical to go along with some version of quick step in there is feels really, really nice. I think you could also have a finesse shot on this card. Um, but it's really, I mean, this is the player that you want to be able to like dance around with the ball and progress. So having passing play styles is important, um, but you're not really asking them to make terribly like long passes. So that's where the tiki taka kind of comes in. And then you want them to be a, a wizard on the ball. For me, at least. And so that's what I'm kind of looking for. Nice, yeah. And then, Josh, any things to point out in that position that you noticed? They, they maybe need a little bit more, as Jape says, on the ball. But I think this is where I need like a five-star skiller with high attacking work rate. Like this is... I, I want somebody who can create themselves like if I've if I've put them one on one with a defender I want to have the feeling that I can get past that defender and so any mixture of first touch technical even a bit of press proven to be able to hold them off and just change the angle a little bit that's that's what I'm looking for here yeah it's interesting actually because in the three four two one you've got two center forwards a left forward and right forward basically and the way that I look at this is you're just wanting a bit of a contrast in terms of the way they're going to operate so that you have a bit of variation in attack. Uh, for one of them, you'd probably want something like first touch, plus technical, plus maybe incisive, plus just to provide a bit of creativity. Could even be tiki taka plus maybe. And then the other one would be possibly technical plus as well. I, I do think technical plus is just really good and considerably better than the regular technical. And then finesse plus because the more, I guess, winger type role, you're likely to be taking shots from the wide areas potentially and quick step plus on that uh, more winger type role as well. I think if you think of those two positions as a sort of more central creative player and then a wider creative player, that might help to formulate the type of player that you want in that position. And for that more winger type player, you're going to be looking at things that increase that pace alongside the quick step plus, like rapid, maybe first touch to get them going a bit faster. Um, ping to pass, I think it's quite important if you're looking to pull it back. And uh, base tiki taka is nice just for regular passing. I also think trickster is quite good if you want to add a bit of variation. And then for that, uh, as I said, more central creative player, I think things like press proven are helpful because you know you want to be uh, good at holding onto the ball. And uh, even something like Flair, I think, can be good in this position. Maybe Trevella for the little passes that you can play with the outside of the foot. So two slightly different, but quite similar in some ways roles. And you probably could get away with two players of a kind of similar type in those positions because actually realistically, most players are are somewhat different and uh, the play styles aren't the only thing that determines the difference between players, of course. So uh, I think that uh, probably wraps up those two positions in the 3 4 2 one. So that leads us on to the final position and that is striker. Japes, uh, do we just need to look at Boniface? Yeah, I think that's fair. Um, I, I like a big striker when I'm playing with a soul one up there. And so give me that aerial plus. And my favorite finishing play style is power shot plus so we take that and then press proven for hold up play and i think you're i mean i think you're just like absolutely in business you can you could maybe get away with base press proven if you want to i don't know mess around with something else but boniface is just wild because he's got 
to go with PowerShot Plus, Press Proven Plus, Arial Plus, he's also got base finesse, base power header, base incisive, base ping, base technical, base quick step, and base rapid. <laughs> this is why I was thrilled to get him in red and gave him the Evo. Maybe I would say I'd rather have Tiki Taka than incisive or rapid. Like maybe they could have given him something. Like I, I would have taken one of those instead, but I don't I, like, I think he's missing. Maybe first touch is the only one that I would say is a mm. really, really great play style for a striker to have, but because they gave him press proven plus, there's no way they were going to give him base first touch to go along with that. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, yeah, he is ridiculous. I feel like he's only held down in price due to being four star, four star, right? And hard to link. Is there a Nigerian manager? I think there is actually. There yeah. is. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yep. BRB. I need to, need to, add, <laughs> need to add to the staff because I yeah. like the reason that I have Palacios, who's who's very good. He's like in there because he matches to Boniface, mm. and oh my gosh, he's not extinct anymore. He's very cheap. Oh, mm. this is big for the program. And generally, the difference between two chemistry and three is yeah, it's bigger than people think. I mean, it's like a, a good amount of stats. Um, Nice. Let's move on to you, Josh. Any particular thoughts on the striker position? I guess, you know, you play plenty of different formations, so it doesn't need to be 4-5-1 specific. Yeah, I, I built off of Boniface's baby brother, um, Didier Drogba. Like, the, the, he, he, was, he was Boniface before Boniface was Boniface <laughs> in this game. Mm. And um, I think Ariel and PowerShot Plus are the two go-to play styles. For me, Finesse Shot Plus is beginning to, like, wheedle its way in as something that I might look for on a striker, but... I don't know how many opportunities you necessarily get from distance, which I think is where Finesse Shot Plus is yeah. best utilized. Press Proven has to be in there, either as base or as plus. And then I have Tiki Taka Relentless, which I think is the thing that made Drogba so good. Um, first touch. I like Power Header as a base play style, and I know that lots of people don't. Why, if you have Aerial Plus, would you not want Power Header? I agree. I don't know why there's this feeling that power, like power header plus, I can understand why people don't want it, especially when it's being put on center backs. It's pretty much useless, but on an attacker that's got aerial, that base power header means that not only are you going to win the header, but you are going to power it towards the goal. Those kind of like headers from the penalty spot and further out that can sometimes happen where if you head it with another player, it's very easy, easily saved, very often caught by the keeper. They're able to get the power that I just think it throws keepers off, especially if you can like get it into a side net in. They, they're not able to get there in time. So I think it's quite an important like base play style to have in there. And then it's kind of, then I think there's a bunch of pick your poison, really how you use your striker, some form of passing play style. You've already got Tiki Taka in there, but if you want base pinged, that can work, but I, I don't think it's totally necessary. I'm using a big player at striker. I'm, I'm not going to be using so many diminutive. So having like a technical, it just feels wasted in this position for me. Yeah, it's interesting because obviously both of you are going for you know, aerial presences and I'd also be going for an aerial presence, but almost by accident because I tend to want a more physical player in that position for hold up play basically. And they'll often end up having aerial or something like that, but I actually don't really think I make use of it enough. And so the play styles that I would go for are power shot plus, first touch plus, and press proven plus. Uh, I don't think that's a combination that exists. Being able to use first touch with power shot is really good. And basically means you can create chances really easily from just playing the ball into the box, taking that first touch power shot. And if you want to hold it up instead, you can hold it up with the press proven. And then I'd like to see maybe Tiki Taka incisive uh, to you know feed other players. And then finesse, I think, is still quite helpful, even if it's the base version. Uh, technical is nice just for creating your own chances, I suppose. And then I think with the bigger players who can be lengthy, having rapid and quick step is quite nice for being an in-behind threat. And then the final play style I was thinking, because you know typically it's like seven regular play styles that uh, they allow players to have. I was unsure about that's where you probably go with something like aerial, maybe even relentless actually, just to keep them going for the entire game. And acrobatic is maybe a bit underrated on a striker because of the impact on volleys. So that maybe be uh, another suggestion mm. uh, or something to just look out for as a bit of a bonus and maybe take advantage of, you know, take the ball down maybe and, and hit it if they don't have power header or something. So yeah, I think that uh, does wrap up the forward position 
for me. Uh, I don't know if there are any other comments on playstyle combinations people want to make. I think it's been quite noticeable that the playstyles we're choosing seem to be about, in most positions, doing a kind of certain action effectively, but then also having a few playstyles which allow you to do something different uh, in the attacking areas, certainly. And I, I guess that kind of makes sense, doesn't it? I think it's interesting the the, the playstyles that have been omitted, you know, Trickster and Flare. Rapid had a few mentions, but not too many. Long Throw. <laughs> um, mm. Traveller, which was really important earlier in the cycle. Like, you know, non Traveller players could still perform it. It was broken. And I still think it's good in some respects, but, you know, the fact it doesn't get any mention is interesting. Now, there's one playstyle that I didn't have in any of my positions, but that I would say I want to have somewhere on the pitch. I know what you're going to say. Dead yeah. ball. And it's Dead Ball. <laughs> You need somebody with at least base dead yeah. ball, but if you can have a dead ball plus player somewhere on the pitch, it just makes so much difference. You know, free kicks become almost auto goals and the delivery from corners just makes you way more dangerous. Yeah, and Japes, nobody was welcomed to the chip life at any point. You know, I've used um, Sh uh, Schuler, who has mm. chip plus. I mean, I scored some sweet chips, which is fun. But the amount of situations that I'm in where a chip feels worthwhile this year, it just feels like a wasted play style because of that. Um, yeah, I'd also say with technical, it's just quite easy to go around the keeper, yeah. which means, yeah, how often are you going to chip him? Uh, yeah, I think that makes sense. I think the only other one that didn't get much of a mention, I actually, I guess I did mention Flair and Trickster, to be fair, was the uh, whipped wasn't actually mentioned as much as I expected. And I guess maybe that's just a sign of the fact that maybe people are moving away from it a bit because it has become quite a commonly used thing and I think regular whip's pretty good anyway. I don't know. I think regular whip is fine and also like I, I just find that I'm the way people are defending now I am struggling more so to get into those positions to mm. be able to get like really take advantage of like it's still good I just find that I have to like mentally think about playing for the whip if I'm going to do it. Yeah, I think the only time I'm actually really using it is when I do a layoff corner, uh, lay it off to the kick taker. Yeah, which which is useful. Like I, my favorite, and we're gonna, I'll talk about her again. Like Bomb Pastor has whipped plus, and she also has base dead ball. So from to go with mm. like high accuracy stats off of free kicks. So like she's absolutely lethal. I used to use whipped all the time because of that playback on the corner. And with mm. Boniface, I just like don't need to. Like I mm. just sort of drill it in at him and he just wins. So yeah. like I cannot tell you the volume of goals that I've scored from corners of late. Yeah. It's so it's there's yeah. so many, Ben. Yeah. It's interesting. I, we do need to wrap up now, but it's been a very interesting discussion and I feel like I've yeah, thought about some more combinations that I need to try. If people have any thoughts on the play stars or any combinations, anything you would like us to talk about, then do send in your questions. You can tweet at footweeklypod, you could email footweekly at mail.com, or you could use the pod priority questions channel in the supporter discord for gold or above supporters if you're in there. Uh, next week will be a supporter gameplay pod, so if you fancy being a supporter, then do, because you'll get that episode. Just search support for weekly. To our guests here, though, thank you very much for taking us through your favorite playstyle combinations, and it's been good to have you. First of all, Josh, thank you. Yeah, it's been uh, it's been good to go through. I've got I've got some I've got some new insights into the four five one. I'm going to need to implement over the next few <laughs> days. Having <laughs> having waltzed into elite last night using it, I need to uh, I need As to you do. try out something As else. You do. <laughs> nice and yeah on the last gameplay pod you can hear more about the 451 uh, we talked about it a few times uh, thank you very much to James for joining us it's been great to have you too cheers Ben enjoyed it yeah, it's been good and of course thank you very much to all you supporters making these episodes possible including those icon patrons Dave B Hugh J Darren W Alistair M Don P Rob P Jeff B Damon H Tom B Adam G Neil P Alex M, Jake S, Dan W, Roger D, Lee A, Andrew C, Nishant, Waterman, Dylan H, Adam R, Rob L, Brendan W, Michael K, David G, Jimmy K, Cherry Drank, John D, Michael B, Aditya S, and Joshua K. Plus a special thanks to Luke M, Dave B, Hugh J, Tom M, Darren W, and Pato Foot for advice and production assistance. 
Before I leave you, just one more thing to add though. Ultimate Team is a bit like life really. It has its many ups and downs. If you're having a few more downs than ups in real life in these more difficult times, then please don't feel that you're alone or need to struggle on without taking action. If you go to thecalmzone.net, there's loads of resources, advice, support, or even just a friendly chat for anyone who needs it. If it sounds like it could help you, then head over to thecalmzone.net. And for now, have a good one, and I'll catch you on the next podcast.